The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Rav Victor Miller, Zechisarek Lavrocha. We give a shir Thursday night, and the high point of the shir for many was that after the shir was over, you can ask any question you want. Either question and answer period, nothing was off the table. You can ask any question you want. In the early years, a fellow walked inside with a guitar over his shoulder, long hair, ripped clothing, and he sits down. When the shir was over and people started to ask questions, he raised his hand and a victim of the called him, yes. He says, Rabbi, tell me, if I want to eat pork, do I have to make a bracha? So everyone was aghast. Well, chutzpah to ask such a question. People are asking such lofty questions about Eilon Haba, Schar Einish, punishment and reward, how to serve Hashem. And he's asking to eat pork. The victim of the looks, he answers every question. He said, it's not proper. Really, we have to thank for Hashem for everything. But it's not appropriate to thank Hashem for something that Hashem tells us not to eat. And therefore, we do not make a bracha if someone eats pork. However, a guy, a Gentile, if he's eating pork, he's allowed to, and he definitely should thank Hashem for that. Thank you very much. A few weeks later, this guy came back, and he started to come back week after week. And after a few weeks, he raised his hand, he says, Rabbi, if I were to become religious, would I have to stop smoking? And also, if I were to become religious, would I have to get rid of my inappropriate, my dirty, my inappropriate magazines? And again, people are shocked by these questions. And Victor Miller looks at me and says, I want you to know what I'm telling you is only for you. This is not for anyone else. This is an answer it's for you, for your question. And that is, I can see what you're saying, that you smoke quite a bit and you have, unfortunately, quite a few magazines. What I want you to do is I want you to take one magazine and throw out that one magazine. And when you throw out that one magazine, you should say you're doing this for the honor and glory of Hashem. And when it comes to smoking on Shabbos, I want you to say this one cigarette that you normally smoke, I don't know if you smoke 20 on Shabbos, one cigarette that you normally smoke, don't smoke it. And say, this is for Hashem. This is what I'm telling you, you should do. And that's what the fellow did. And ultimately the fr- person became a from Jew. Why? Because he took the one step. It wasn't all or nothing. It wasn't you have to stop smoking. It wasn't you have to throw everything away. It was you take one step in the right direction. Ultimately, you can take a second step in the right direction. And that is what we're learning from Parshish Mikates. That is what we're learning from Hanukkah. That if we want to make sure to have the Mesar to Gibor and Biyad Chalashim, or if we want to have the Rab and Biyad Ma'atim, the way we do that is by taking one step forward, one step closer to Hashem, because then we can take the next step. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.